Hello everyone, my name is Allegra Miller and I'm here to share with you today's Astro Alchemy, the astrology for today, January 14th, 2021, and the essential oils that will be helpful in alchemizing these energies. Before I get started making specific oil recommendations, I do want to highly emphasize that I'm extremely partial to the brand doTERRA. Uh, there's a huge difference in terms of caliber, chemistry, and overall therapeutic value for the properties that I'm referencing alchemically in this video. So with that in mind, I'm only suggesting you use doTERRA for these purposes. I have been using, teaching about, and selling doTERRA for over seven years now, and that came after virtually an, an, my whole lifetime previous using high-grade essential oils. So I did have a lot to compare it to, and it was a life changer, game changer when doTERRA entered my life. So that is important relative to what I'm referencing here. Uh, if you have questions that are specific to the needs of you and your family, please reach out, I'd love to help you. Also, if you're interested in purchasing oils, please reach out, I'd love to help you. Uh, information on how to get a hold of me is in the link below the title to this video. And um, now let's talk about this astrology. So I figured out that today is actually my 10th day of doing this daily astro alchemy. So on the plus side, this is earlier in the day, it's actually daylight out, I'm getting it out. Um, yeah, it's progress because I know some of these have been, I've been doing them at night just because I have committed to this daily thing. But um, slowly by, but surely, I'm sure that this will get out ahead of time so you have even more of a heads up. But for now, yay, we're making progress. And thank you so much for listening and for your support in this process. It is a new endeavor and it is, um, it takes something to, uh, Put this out there and do what I said I was going to do for many years, actually. And so here we are. Um, anyway, let's talk about this energy. It's super duper intense. Today, January 14th, Uranus went stationary direct at 3.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Taurus. This is after being retro since August 15 of 2020. Uh, and this is an intense force to be reckoned with. Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius. It is, um, it brings rapid change. It is the energy of sudden surprise, uh, events that can be shocking uh, and awakening. It is those flashes of insight that bring leaps of consciousness, uh, new it's an energy of ingenuity and uh, rapid evolution, basically. I talked about, in earlier videos, Mars on January 6th going into Taurus um, and how this has a lot to do with, uh, I mean, Taurus is the sign of the bull, it's earth-based, it's steady, it's based on the material plane, and... Um, relative to the energies that are coming forth this next week and an energy yesterday I think I might not have mentioned this yesterday but nonetheless you felt it and that is that Mars was square Saturn yesterday and that is a very eruptive angry uh, emotional release energy oftentimes it can be a blow up I think of a bull that just gets spooked uh, it's it's very unpredictable and, and can be dangerous. So I'm glad in yesterday's video I mentioned emotional release oils uh, like thyme, T-H-Y-M-E. That's a great one for that. But nonetheless, this Taurus energy, let's go back to the bull. Um, the bull will be getting spooked this next week. So let's think of a nice, calm bull out. You see it in a pasture. It's chilled out, just... Um, enjoying and then something comes along that puts it in fight or flight mode and all of a sudden that bull becomes extremely violent, eruptive. You do not want to be in the pasture at this time. This energy is coming up January 19th, 20th, and 21st. Okay, so today's the 14th. 
we're a little bit out ahead of this. This is why I'm mentioning it. Uh, so because the moon will be triggering all these Mars aspects on these three days, the, the we have the moon and Mars in Taurus right on top of Uranus. And then the sun enters Aquarius, which is the proverbial rebel, protester, um, instigator of the evolution of consciousness, basically, all about uh, the bigger picture, the humanitarian aspect, less about the personal, more about the whole. Um, anyway, the sign of this, the rebel and revolution, this is conjunct Jupiter and Saturn. So let me repeat all that because it was a lot to take in. On those three days, January 19th, 20th, and 21st, we have the moon and Mars in Taurus right on top of Uranus, and then the sun entering Aquarius to conjunct Jupiter and Saturn. So all of this, why am I emphasizing this so much? Because I think it's important to have a heads up. This is the time of the inauguration. So it will be very fascinating to see what's happening in the headlines on those days. Um, and what's happening in the headlines of our own life. I me mentioned that yesterday. This is not just what's happening at the Capitol. This is what's happening inwardly uh, related to our own social unrest, our own personal riots between the old way and the new way. Um, and yeah, so anyway, this energy, these three days we may see social unrest, riots, surprise attacks, just a heads up. Jupiter will be exactly square Uranus on Sunday. Uh, let's talk about that. This current Jupiter-Uranus cycle began on June 8th of 2010. Uh, this was an exact conjunction of these two planets at zero degrees Aries. This degree of Aries strongly suggests uh, the birthing into being of something new that has a, uh, a big impact. The conjunction was repeated on the 19th of September 2010 at 28 degrees Pisces when both planets turned retrograde and then on the 4th of January 2011 at 27 degrees Pisces when both planets went direct again. The complete cycle lasts about 14 years and the present cycle will end on the 21st of April 2024 with the next conjunction of Jupiter Uranus at 21 degrees Taurus. If you look back at these times, and the reason that I'm referencing the past here is whatever was happening in your life at that time is going to be, is going to give you an idea of the flavor of the energy that we're working on or working with, working on. This is the energy of uh, signature change is, the, the sign, this is the signature of big change. This is the signature of upheaval that leave, leads to transformation, um, that brings forth a new way of being. Uranus Taurus is all about surprises related to sustainability. Taurus is earth-based, based on the material plane, getting its needs met. It's very practical. Um, it's, it's, this focus is going to be on having the material plane work and really coming toe-to-toe -to -toe with what hasn't worked. Um, third quarter squares are always about upheaval that transforms what doesn't work. If we take advantage of the Earth, for example, she's going to protest. There may be, uh, the, the energies that I just talked about are heavily correlated to volcanoes, earthquakes, not just riots and personal protests, but um, big changes. This is the energy of Earth balancing herself out. So if we take advantage of the Earth long enough, she rises up and there is an impact. We take advantage of a person long enough, she rises up and there's an impact. Um, this is basically the energy of the old paradigm and coming toe-to-toe -to -toe with a new paradigm, this old 200-year cycle, coming toe-to-toe -to -toe with a new 200-year cycle, and having these energies be very different. The old was more of a top-down, authoritarian, dogmatic, patriarchal energy that was me, 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 me. And the new is more a we-centered, 
balanced masculine feminine energy of looking at what it looks like to operate from a sense of totality knowing that each and every action affects the whole in in ways that are beyond our capacity to understand so basically we've got these two very polar energies coming um coming head toe to toe right now um anyway let's go on here this this happening this morning okay happening this morning the Aquarius moon went conjunct Mercury at 428 Eastern Standard Time. That was AM. That was good for lucid dreaming. So if you had any weird dreams last night, write them down in your notebook or take a mental note for yourself. There may be some messages that were coming through in dreamland territory since it was in the middle of the night that that um, Mercury Aquarius conjunction was happening. The void of course moon started then so we are currently in a void of mo void of moon i mean a moon <laughs> void of course what am i saying um energy right now which is important to note this is a this is all day today that we're going to be in a void of course moon and that's going to happen until tomorrow at 5 17 p.m eastern standard time void of course moons are time times to go inward to reflect to uh clean do passive projects, pray, reflect. Um, it's actually an interesting time. It's a good time to break up a relationship that isn't isn't good. Um, it's not a good time to start new projects, make big purchases, make big decisions, have any elective procedures, start any court hearings. It's not a good time for that. So. Anyway, just good to know. And then um, this morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard, the Sun, Pluto aligned in Capricorn. Those points, uh, that points to coming to a healthy balance of internal power when we focus inward. When the focus is outward, it could get us into trouble. So, all right, I've got oils in front of me. And, whoa, it's 12 minutes already. Um, but let's just go through these briefly. It, and I, someone pointed out yesterday um, that it is helpful, and thank you for this, that pointer, that it was helpful to kind of lay out the oils so that you could get them out as I talk about them. So first, uh, if you want to put the video on pause and get fennel, breathe, cardamom, turmeric, patchouli, adaptive, and you don't have to get all of these, but get some of them. Digest Zen, Ginger, and Cedarwood. Geranium, Whisper, Peace, Console, and Forgive. That's a lot. <laughs> but I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. So let's start in the first bracket. The first thing is toning these, um, is really chilling out some of these intense emotions. I would suggest, I've been mentioning this like every day this week, but breathe and cardamom will be good at just softening intense, eruptive, violent, perhaps emotions that are uncontrollable, uh, untamed, uncool, not, uh, not in accordance with what we're committed to. Breathe, cardamom, great. Fennel, is a good one for taking personal responsibility for events. Less about being at the impact of something and taking personal responsibility for everything that's happening. So what's happening on the headlines somehow internally is pertaining to your own inner power struggles, your own inner eruptive energies of coming to terms with the new cycle coming forward, the new you, and letting go of the old you. Fennel is all about taking responsibility for every nuance of your life, the complete cast of characters, the news that's showing up in the headlines, and really like seeing it in the context of the evolution of consciousness. It really brings a peace to the heart when we see life through that because it's less uh, at the impact of. Um, two oils that are really helpful in not taking on the headlines and not being um, not being affected by these energies. One is turmeric. This is really good for people that feel betrayed and um, 
This is good for repairing a sense of imminent threat to freedom. So this is good for people who feel that freedom of speech has been, um, that feel wounded by uh, threats to freedom of speech. It is also good for people that feel wounded by issues with racism or a biased um, mindset. Turmeric is going to just be helpful in not taking on the collective angst out there. Also, lemon eucalyptus is going to be another one that's helpful in not taking on the collective angst. It helps to feel safeguarded and nurtured and sort of have an extra layer of energetic protection, energetic walls. Again, that's lemon eucalyptus. It helps us feel less impacted by national events, uh, clears boundaries. Uh, for these energies we're going into, I would say uh, the 19th, 20th, 21st that I mentioned, three oils that would be helpful to be using every single day are forgive, console, and peace. These are blends that are uh, focused on, obviously, what they say, forgiveness, healing grief, and bringing a deep peace, a deep calm, a deep benevolence toward yourself and mankind. These are all going to be valuable tools. Um, adaptive is another one to be used right now to just keep yourself at a calm, to trust new energies, to be better with surprises that are very likely going to be happening this week and certainly in the last week. Um, adaptive just helps us keep our cool in the face of uh, the unknown. In helping to kind of tune into our own inner authority and a balance of power on an inside job, I would say digest zen and ginger are going to be very helpful to be putting on your belly on a daily basis. Uh, you might want to make an elixir and take it internally. Again, this is only doTERRA that I'm talking about. That helps to get you back in your power, regardless of what's going on in the headlines, regardless of what's going on in your work relationships, family relationship, friendships, etc., your own internal power struggles. Ginger will help you get back into balance um, and feel empowered in your true you. Um, I mentioned yesterday DDR Prime is a, oops, let's see, I guess I don't have a top to this one. DDR Prime, anyway, DDR Prime is helpful in repairing, it's sort of a control-alt-delete for what is the old paradigm that is in the process of dying and trying its hardest to hold on. And the new, which is being birthed and, um, and just really expressing our highest, healthiest, uh, most free aspect going into this new, less patri uh, patriarchal energy um, of the new energy going forward. Cedarwood is going to be right behind that and letting you feel more deeply connected with a whole, with a field at large, not only your your community around you, your family, your friends, your city, your country, but your planet, but the, the field of consciousness. Cedarwood just helps you feel deeply connected to the whole. And then two that are going to be softening, and these are my last two, softening to the new energies being birthed are Whisper, which is also known as a blend for women, but don't let that fool you. It's great for both sexes, regardless of your sexuality. It helps soften excessive patriarchal energies, excessive masculine, dogmatic, top-down energies that are on their way out. So Whisper will be really good for that, just to give you an inner calm and just chill that bull out that I talked about being spooked in the field. And then Geranium is going to be helpful for healing our heart when our heart has been wounded in times that our heart has opened and then been wounded in that process the heart itself 
is like gun shy sometimes in opening to future situations that um, that may be helpful to open. Geranium is going to be a balm for the heart and allowing it to trust itself on when to open the flower of its energy and when to close it. We're not supposed to have our heart open to just anyone, anything, any place, any time, but it, it gives it that intelligence like a flower that opens and closes to trust itself of when it's safe to open and when it's appropriate to close. So that's just a real soft oil to go to bed with. It nurtures you. It feels, it, it just is helpful in healing deep inner work. Anyway, uh, this video is longer than I expected today. I just dropped an oil. But thank you so much for listening. I hope you found this valuable. I hope you are enjoying the intensity of these energies and making the most of them with the appropriate alchemy. Please reach out, and again, thank you for listening, liking, sharing, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.